Hello. The product I'm going to introduce today is an LED driver from SparkFun, called Pickabuck. We will review the specifications of this LED driver and confirm the specifications through actual measurements. Also, I will show you a demo of the dimming control, using the Arduino. This is the top view of the Pickabuck. As you can see, it consists of three independent channels. This part is a voltage input port, and the operable input range is from 6 volts to 36 volts. This voltage is supplied to each channel, and a current corresponding to 330 milliamperes or 660 milliamperes can be supplied for each channel. So, when 660 milliamperes is used, each channel can handle maximum 24 watts of power. Current can be controlled through the sense resistor shown here. The default configuration is set to supply 330 milliamperes, and 660 milliamperes can be supplied by soldering the jumper here. The pins shown here are the pins used for dimming control, and dimming control can be achieved with a DC level of 0.5 volts to 2.5 volts, or PWM signal which has a low voltage below 0.4 volts and high voltage above 2.6 volts. This part shown in the middle is the LED driver IC called AL8805, which is the core part that performs current limiting and dimming control. Let's take a look at how Pickabuck works. The input voltage is transferred to the output through the sense resistor. This way, the output voltage is driven with only a small voltage drop through the sense resistor. It is very advantageous when connecting LEDs in serial because the output voltage is almost the same as the input voltage. The voltage drop of the sense resistor is monitored by AL8805, which is used to supply a constant current to the LEDs. By default, it is set to flow 330 milliamperes, and when a jumper is connected, 660 milliamperes flows. The formula for calculating the current is as follows. AL8805 is capable of supplying up to 1 ampere, when R set is changed to a value of 100 milliohm. Each channel should be used independently, and connecting LEDs across channels should be avoided. First, let's check the input, output voltage and the output current of this module. While we supply 12 volts as an input, you can see that the exact same value at each output ports. This is because currently the output is open, but when we connect LEDs, the voltage appeared at the output will be the same as the sum of all the forward voltage of the LEDs connected in serial. The current measurement result shows 330 milliamperes of current with small error on each ports. However, the current measurement after connecting the jumper was 605 milliamperes, which was pretty much different from the specification of 660 milliamperes. This is a demonstration of dimming control with DC voltage. The input voltage was 12 volts as before, and two 1 watt yellow LEDs with forward voltage of 3.4 volts and forward current of 350 milliamperes were serially connected to channel 2. DC voltage for dimming control was controlled by a potentiometer, and 5 volts power was supplied from the Arduino Uno. In this demo, the Arduino Uno was only used to supply the 5 volts. So let's see the demo. The connection was made accordingly, and you can see that the LED is initially turned off with 0 volts being applied to the control pin. When we increase the DC voltage, the LED turns on at about 0.45 volts, which matches the description of 0.4 volts from the AL8805 datasheet. As we increase the voltage further, you can see that the brightness becomes brighter, and the maximum brightness is reached at around 2.5 volts. As the voltage decreases, the brightness starts to dim as well, and when the voltage reaches 0.45 volts, the LED is turned off. It can be confirmed that the range for dimming control by DC is 0.4 volts to 2.5 volts. Now, let's control the brightness with the PWM signal. The duty cycle of the PWM is controlled according to the DC voltage level generated from the potentiometer, which is read by the analog pin of the Arduino. When the voltage from the potentiometer is increased, the duty cycle of the PWM signal increases as well. The command for reading the DC voltage level from Arduino is the analog read function, and the function that generates the PWM signal is the analog write function. For utilizing the maximum resolution of 10 bits, the PWM frequency should be lower than 500 Hz, which is clearly the case for the PWM output from pin 3 of Arduino Uno. 
The code used in this demo is attached below in this video. This is the connection made for this demo. As in the previous demo, the initial voltage from the potentiometer is 0 volts, and the duty of PWM is 0%, that is, a low signal is transferred to the pickabuck, and the LED is turned off. If you turn the potentiometer clockwise, increasing the voltage, the LED turns on and becomes brighter. You can see that the dimming control with PWM is much smoother than that of the dimming control using the DC voltage control. Now let's summarize some key features of the Pickabuck. The Pickabuck's operating voltage ranges from 6 volts to 36 volts. There are three independent channels and can supply up to 660 milliamperes through jumper connection. It can be modified to supply up to 1 ampere, when the sense resistor value is changed. The module is capable of supplying 24 watts per channel, summing up to 72 watts for all three channels. Dimming control can be achieved by DC level or PWM signal, but the PWM method can achieve wider range and better resolution. LED drivers offers easy and simple use of LEDs. Especially for high wattage LEDs. This is it, for the Pickabuck LED driver introduction. Coming up next, I will introduce how to design your own LED driver, using Easy EDA. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.